they're offering that. I'll let you know, Liz. Okay. Thank you. Cynthia, this is what happens when you put no toll roads in your Apple Maps. Mm -hmm. You end up driving through the swamps of Richmond. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this is a swamp. This is pretty dry compared to other places. <laughs> for, for those of us from the desert, this yeah. is swampland. Yeah, um, I, I gotta agree with Betty Liz. This looks like swamp to me. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's all by you. We were just, uh, Liz was just saying the weather can't make up its mind. Yesterday it was almost 80 degrees, clear blue sky without a cloud in it, um, sunny and warm. And today it's in the 50s, it's cloudy, looks like it wants to rain. Maybe it might. It <laughs> we just play it by ear every day. You have galoshes, sweaters, umbrellas in your car <laughs> all the time. Liz is joining us on this drive from Fulcher. To Richmond to knock on doors for Eliz Markowitz. This is the last day before election day. So, um, good morning to the live stream. Many of you have been with us from the first day of block walking weeks ago. Um, we've since knocked on tens of thousands of doors. This is our last full day of block walking before voters go to the polls tomorrow on election day. And so, we're going to remind voters in Richmond and other parts of Fort Bend County how important this election is and how much we need Elos Markowitz in office. And if you live in Fort Bend County, if you're in Fulcher or Richmond or Katy or Sugarland or even Houston, parts of Houston City are in Fort Bend County and you live in the 28th district and you'll know that because somebody's knocked on your door, sent you a piece of mail. Um, tomorrow's the day to vote. Make a plan. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and you can vote at any polling location, any polling location uh, that's open tomorrow. And if we knock on your door, we'll share with you the closest polling locations to your home. Uh, Liz in the shotgun seat is um, pursuing microbiology, um, is a, I'll let you tell the story, Liz, but okay. you, you and I are both talking about how off and on, we've been knocking on doors for 20 years for different candidates. Yeah. And the first candidate you knocked on doors for was, was 20 years ago, and it was? George W. Bush. George it's, W. Uh, Bush. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed saying it, but I mean, it was yeah. fun at the time. It was, a, it was a real educational experience, and it works. It, um, it really does. Getting in people's faces and telling them, hey, this is what's going on, uh, to, to get them aware. It really works. It, they come out, and that's why I like doing it. And... and uh, so you grew up in a, in a conservative Republican family. Yes. Uh, certainly at that point, you were still a Republican. How did you get to a point where you're now knocking on doors for Elis Markowitz, uh, a Democrat? I just started to see that things didn't make any sense coming out of Fox News and a lot of the, like, uh, if you go online, there's a lot of contention and stuff online, crazy conspiracy theories, and it just didn't make any sense to me. So I just started looking into it and talking to people and realizing, hey, wait a minute, I might have been lied to. Uh, but I'd always been kind of like a more liberal than um, um, a, a closeted liberal. There we go. Um, but I just, um, when I heard Donald Trump was running for president, I just could not um, sit idly by and just let that happen because look what's come of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you were right. <laughs> yeah. um, it was just like, come on, this is Donald Trump. What is wrong with everybody? <laughs> Everyone's lost their mind. It's been a disaster for our country. And I, I tell you, I was, um, so I was getting ready and uh, ironing my shirt this morning. Uh, I was watching CNN, I think, and they had Adam Schiff on, mm -hmm. who's the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and is the house manager for the impeachment trial in the senate and they were asking him to respond to the president threatening his life yeah. the president tweets you know adam schiff hasn't paid the price yet for what, yeah, that happened this for what he's done and you know folks got to call it out for what it is and you could be a democrat or an independent a republican if, if you're a thinking human being you know that the president's words not empty rhetoric uh, it's not just that he doesn't know how to talk mm -hmm. like a politician. He's a thug yeah. and he's a gangster and he's threatening the life of someone who's trying to hold him accountable. accountable. You know, we saw in El Paso 22 people killed yeah. in a Walmart shooting, not unrelated to the president's rhetoric, uh, talking about invasions of immigrants, um, talking about these animals who are, who are coming to get us. 
Um, and uh, laughing when someone says we should shoot the people who are coming to this country from other countries in, in Latin America. So um, th this is not an idle threat by the president. It, it inspires violence against the lives of those that he threatens, in, including now Adam Schiff. Uh, he's done this to Muslim members of Congress. Um, he's done this to a lot of people. And, uh, and so I, I, I'm with you, Liz. I mean, he, he poses a real threat to this country. And it, for me, it's why I'm joining you in knocking on doors for E-Liz, because it may sound unconnected, this special election for a state house seat in Fort Bend County in Southeast Texas and the presidency of the United States. But if we can continue to organize in this way in Texas, we actually might be able to help Texas stop Donald Trump. What, what if our 38 electoral college votes went to the Democratic nominee uh, that would stop him in his tracks? And it would look so different if people, if more voters came out because Texas does have like so little voter turnout. And if we actually came out, I mean, our politic, uh, political landscape would just look completely different if more people cared and were told, hey, you do make a difference. Your vote does count. And it just seems like there's a lot of cronies just like they're seat warmers and they're just there specifically for one agenda and they don't really care about what's going on and that's why I'm out here because I think Liz actually cares she does yeah. and uh, I love um, someone suggested this this way of thinking about it if we don't like the people in power then let's use the power of people to change them yeah. and, and support people like Eliz and so you're volunteering your Monday morning. Uh, we're volunteering our Monday morning to knock on doors and meet the voters who will decide this important election. And that's how we get our democracy back. Yeah. And, and that's ultimately how we stop Trump and Trumpism in our country through what we're calling powered by people. So yeah. we're really glad, Liz, that, that you're a part of this. We're really glad to be doing this with you. Thank you. And it looks like our first door here in Richmond. Yeah is on Mission Cove Lane. It's right across the street. Um, Cynthia, if you want to follow us, we're going to go knock on it. And you've got the, the app up. Oh, you're ready to go. Liz. Yes, I am. She is a prepared block walker. All right. Can you help, Cynthia? Oh, no, that's you. I got it. I got it. There you go. You have your marker. I'm a marker. Okay. Um, Here's my, I've got my metallic silver marker and I've got my all important black marker. All right. All right, I'll fill up the name. Should we go to 02? Yes, it is, uh, name is Mario Pettis, 19 male. I think a few people had said you can't um, hear. I think everybody else can hear, so just make sure you turn up your volume. That's happened to me before. Oh, Cynthia, you may, no. you may not be doing this right. Oh, no, 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 it's on, but it's on yeah. just a few okay. people. If, if you all can hear, do this. Yeah. If you can't hear, do this. Yeah, no, I think um, the majority of people can hear. Okay. Yeah, So you're good. saying it's user error on the other side? It that might people be. need to turn it's on the volume? It's happened to me, but it has happened to me. I, so, not just possible yeah. that... Right, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. And we're, got, we're getting people that are saying that they have voted. They've gone good out morning, and they voted, so... Keep it up. Hey Barbara, check your settings and make sure that you have the volume on. Thanks, Storm. Good morning, Elle. We miss you guys. Thanks, Abby. Raymond. Cynthia. Gabriela. Thanks, Jacob. So, looks like nobody is home. So they left a, a note. Yeah. Unless you like to prefer going down. No, let's we, we can go, go do, do. Um, okay. we're gonna follow your path, but oh, okay. um what's our first name there? Uh Lorette. Yes, Abby, every vote counts. Mm -hmm. Every one. So if you guys can make sure you get your family Lorette. and friends yeah, posted on your social media, do whatever you can to um, get the word out. Literally elections have been won. Uh, good morning, Skylar. By a hundred votes. 
truly matters. They answered. Oh, I hope you do come back, El. Hey, Barbara, I'm not sure. Sorry. There's... Might be... I think your sound button is off. right Abby thank you for posting Tanya good morning oh what a sweet message all right here we go I'm gonna pull up powered by people powered x people.org please sign up and join us morning Tara Mike Stevens is on So sweet. Thank you, Kelly. Go Spanish, and then I was like, no. no. Okay. Um, so this is a, a example of why we're knocking on doors. Um, you know, they've got a lot going on in their household, as we all do in our lives. Um, hadn't really been paying attention to the election. Um, the reminder that it's taking place tomorrow was helpful. And then she said, "Well, I don't know if I can vote because I work tomorrow," which again for me makes the case that we should have. Um, holidays for elections so oh that job. so that people um, don't have to choose between work and voting and it's also important to have more early voting sites and more early voting days so you can get that out of the way before election day including on weekends and including late night uh, some counties some communities are having midnight voting or polls open to, to midnight anyhow um, she's got to work tomorrow she works from 8 to 7 and so we said, um, is there any way that you could get to the polls at seven? Um, I know you have a long day, but this election is that important. And so she said, you know what, I'm going to try to do that. So, you know, who knows if she will vote, but a better chance that she will now that Liz has shown up at her door to um, tell her what's at stake. Yes. Where do we go now? Oh, right here. This house right here. here we go. Yes. Almost walked into that, but the stopped me <laughs> walking backwards. Hey, California. Morning, Gloria. Do we this one? I think so. Hey, Beto Savannah is asking if she can vote today. Savannah, you can vote tomorrow. You cannot vote today. Tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at dozens of voting locations. You can go to Eliz's website, which is Eliz. 4tx.com um, uh, to, to find out your nearest voting location, but you can vote at any of them that are open in uh, Fort Bend County uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday's election. We're going to. 19319. I think it's down this way. That's the next house on ours? Yes. Okay. Hope everyone's having a great Monday morning. Hope your week is starting off well. Uh, you may be at work. You may be at school. You may have just finished uh, an overnight shift. You may just be hanging out at home with your kids. Um, whatever you're doing, I hope it's a good one. And we're grateful that you all have joined us. We are 
uh, walk-in doors with Liz on behalf of E. Liz Markowitz. Hi, everybody. In <laughs> Richmond, Texas, in Fort Bend County, uh, on the eve of a very important special election. And we're grateful to have you all with us and, and very grateful to everyone who's gone to the Powered by People website, uh, which is poweredbypeople.org, uh, to make a donation or to sign up. Um, I'll show you that graphic real quick. You're, you're good. Oh, did we pass one? Yeah. All right. 319, though. Should be Here we go. Look at that. That is a great graphic. Someone made that uh, from the live stream yesterday. Awesome. Sorry. Oh, wow. Powered by people graphic. Oh, wow. That looks great. Yeah. People's feet. Hey, Betta, real quick before you do that. Yeah. Tanya's asking if you can give a shout out uh, to her co-worker, Stephanie. Hey, Tanya's co-worker, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> We're shouting you out right now. Right. Hope that you're helping us to spread the word. Uh, we would love for you to share this live stream through your network. Let's get as many people focused on this special election. I would argue the most important election taking place in the United States today uh, to make sure that we get as many people out to vote tomorrow. This is strictly a matter of turnout tomorrow. If Democrats do not come out in force, if we don't surpass the turnout that we saw in November during the first part of the special election, we'll lose this race. If we get more people engaged, including those who've newly registered or typically don't vote in a special election like this one, we will win. And so that's why we're knocking on doors today to try to bring everyone in. Okay, we're gonna knock on this door, right? Yes. And the names are Angela and Jay. Please, 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 please. Stephanie and Diana, thank you for being on. Savannah, thank you for going out and voting. So important and taking your husband. It's the way to do it. Hey, Emily, I'm good. Excited to be here. Excited to be working for, on the Eliz Markowitz campaign. Thank you, Rod. All right. And the next house is 1931. Okay, so 19311. Oh, did we, we, we pass that one? Yeah, we did. Okay, exactly. And the name is Magdalena. Magdalena? Yeah. Really getting to know this neighborhood. Beto, how, how much do you think we've walked in the last three weekends? Oh, miles. Miles, right? So I, 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 feel, I don't feel as guilty about not exercising the last couple weeks because we've been walking a lot. Oh, I'm so sorry. I guess. You're good. Mondays are a little bit harder than the weekends. Most people are at work or at school. Hey Tara, we have Liz with us. And Liz shared a great story earlier. She actually blocked walk for George Bush and she grew up in a very conservative family and the majority of her family members are Republicans. But she, uh, during the, when Trump was elected, decided that that was enough and started canvassing for Beto when he was on the running for Senate. And now she's here canvassing with us. It's a good idea, Skylar. Bet uh, Amy, Beto's wife, has a Apple Watch, and I think you're right. I want to get one.
you know, Sarah, I think we have met a lot of people that initially they were more conservative and but what's happening right now they decided that it was a little bit too much and are looking for other options hey rod hope you are well in mexico There's also a map view too. Oh, which what is it? I'll show you. It's that. Oh Whoa. my god. Right? Doesn't that change your life? Yes, it does. Okay, we're on it now. We you got, got it? Got this. Okay, there we go. I didn't know about the map pictures. I'm going to tell Beth of that. Yeah, Kelly, hopefully we'll be able to use the trash cans on the street because if Beth finds any trash, he will put it in my, pick it up and put it in my purse. Sorry, Ginger, you're right. Put my fingers right in the shot. What street are we on? Mission Cove Lane. Mission Cove Lane. So if anybody's in the area, come by and, and walk, walk with us. Um, Jen, you, you uh, not Jen, Liz, as you guide us to the next door, um, I'm gonna answer a question that may be on your minds. O'Rourke, what are you doing? Uh, people are at school, they're at work, they're not home, they're not answering their door. Is, is this a, a, a smart way to spend your time? Yes. Is the answer. And the reason is, we are, we are not only leaving this information that helps people make a plan to vote by telling them the polling times and locations, um, but when they're not home, we're also leaving a personal note. And they know that I was at their door, that I care enough about the selection that I'm volunteering. And my hope is that when they get home from school, from work, from whatever they're doing, they see this, it's gonna be that extra reminder they needed to make a plan to vote tomorrow. So, um, you know, it's so much more gratifying when you actually get to talk to somebody, but it shouldn't surprise us on a Monday morning that we're not seeing the, the level of success that we had yesterday and on Saturday in terms of the number of doors open to us. Nonetheless, we must persist. All right, what's our first name? Oh, I cannot pronounce that. That looks good to me. All right. And I've seen um, before when Beto's left a note with his uh, signed note, folks will then come out and chase us down and realize that we were here. And I think like he said, it's just got to do everything possible, even if they're not home. We're gonna try. Hey Nancy, good morning. Lori, good morning. I think they're looking for their next house. Danny Candelaria from El Paso, hello. And thanks for the reminder, Skylar. If anybody has some time today, we'd love for you to join us and come out and block walk with us. It's starting to warm up, the sky is clearing. 
And we have two other shifts today at 12 and at 3 p.m. So we'd love for you guys to join us. It'll, it'll guide us. You know, I never really um, was much of a Boy Scout, even though I was in the Cub Scouts, but I didn't graduate to, to Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not the best at maps, but I think I've got us um, going, going in the right direction. In the, in the right direction. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm feeling actually very good about this. Folks are saying that if we find trash, you wouldn't have to put it in my purse, but because there's a lot of trash cans out here. You know what? I think it's a good reminder <laughs> to take out this little bit of trash. There. Ah, there you go. There we go. It's plastic. It'll, it'll find its way into our oceans unless we dispose of it properly. There you go. Errol's in port. If I get it close this way, it's with the next houses. So, what does that say? Arapaho, Arapaho Pass. If you guys are in the area, come out, join us. We are on... Cynthia plastic bottle. Oh, you get that? I will get it. That's right, I got it. There we go. And very convenient. Just thank you, teamwork. There we go. Arapaho, Arapaho Pass, guys. If you're around, come on out. And join us block walking. You know what I think we're gonna do? I didn't step in. You almost I did, almost Beto. There was some dog uh -oh. I didn't step in. Um, you know what I think I want to do? The next iteration of the Power My People Kyle. Oh. What's up, Beto? <laughs> Why did you do that? I was looking, I was just checking him out. Dog. Cynthia, come on. I interrupted you. What did yeah, you Yeah, no, it's okay. You're not I'm, I'm sorry, fine. Betta, I got distracted. So, 192326. 192326. There's 322. 9326, uh, what's our first thing? And so you can click on the bubble on the map and it'll bring up all the so if we go back to map view and this is where we are mm -hmm. so you can expand that out and then click on that guy and then click on it again three one five there we go eduardo okay that's one nine three one five that's one three nine. this one right here Duke Patterson is on. Hello, Duke. Left a note. Yes. Yes. There you go. Find the furthest house down. I think that map yeah. view. Y'all need some help there, Beto? You got it. Got it? You're in a great mood today, Connor. <laughs> it's such a pleasure working with you. Wow. Just saying, I could help if you need it. It's gonna be nice uh, after this election <laughs> tour. <laughs> we all have a break. But did do I get on your nerves sometimes? Be okay, honest. A little bit. Really? Um, you would miss me no, if I was not here. Yeah. I like this open field here. What kind of dog do you have? Oh, it's a cat on the road slash work. 
I did not see the Grammys, but I heard that Willie Nelson won and that I think Micah Nelson, or was it Luca Nelson also won? I think Beto would miss me if I was gone, but that's just what I think. That's nice, Emily. Thank you. Lucas. So Lucas and Willie both won a Grammy last night. Yeah. Very cool, right? Congratulations to the Nelson family. It's such yeah. great news. Much deserved. What are folks talking about today? So I uh, mentioned what was on my mind, this, this threat that the president made to Adam Schiff, this thuggery from the administration, which is not confined to President Trump. You may have seen the news about Mary Louise Kelly interviewing Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and uh, Secretary of State Pompeo um, trying to belittle and berate and demean her. Um, bringing out an unmarked map of Europe and demanding that she show him where Ukraine is, which she did. Um, and then on, I think, State Department letterhead, um, lying about the encounter um, and trying to further demean what she's doing in her work. Um, and so I actually happened to be listening to NPR uh, when that interview came out and I was so impressed. And um, this doesn't always happen, right? But Mike Pompeo said something that wasn't true. Uh, she asked about um, his lack of support for uh, Ambassador Ivanovich and other State Department officials. And he said, oh, that's not true. Uh, there have been no complaints. I'm not going to respond to uh, these anonymous complaints. She's like, actually, it's not an anonymous complaint. Let me tell you specifically who has complained and what they specifically have said. And now you answer that, which he refused, frankly, to do, or he didn't do it in an honest way. And then as she pressed the line of questioning, he basically chickened out and, um, and, and wouldn't complete the interview. The, the recorders are turned off. He then uh, asked her to come into his private um, living room where he then begins to berate and frankly abuse her uh, from the account that I have read uh, and did the, the stupid thing with the unmarked map and stupid on so many different levels. Stupid, just don't ever do that, that's dumb. And then really don't do that to Mary Louise Kelly, um, who is an expert in the, the um, world of foreign affairs and certainly can find Ukraine uh, on a map, which she did. So anyhow, I just like that's the petty thuggery of, of a petty thuggish administration. That's what we're up against right now. That's on my mind. But whenever I get too pissed off or worked up about this, I go out and knock on doors with someone like Liz. Uh, who wants to make sure that she's doing everything she can for our country at this moment. So That's why I'm doing it too. I'm pissed off too. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a way to channel that energy and do something positive with it. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Alfredo. <clears throat> Alfredo? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if Alfredo's pissed off. All right. Let's see. Oh, door hail. Name's door hail. Carol McDaniel. Hello. Adam, come out. Don't even think about it anymore. Just come out and come walk with us. It feels good to do something. Take some action when you feel that so many bad things are happening right now. Yeah, Beto already had a cup of coffee. No, they're asking if you did it. Diego uh, Reyes is saying we should do a limpia to clean the energy away. <laughs> Adam, come out. 15 you know minutes what, away, you can make it. Come on. We, we need a limpia in the White House. Oh, yes, well, that's true, Beto. We need a limpia in that the is Senate. true. Yes. We need a limpia in the governor's mansion here in Texas. We need a limpia in the state house. And so we are limpiando <laughs> ahora in, in this uh, block walk. Um, I like it. Yeah. And this one's Vanessa. Vanessa? Yes. 
All right, there they're going. They gotta get somebody to answer. It'll happen. Send your good door knocking vibes, folks. Carol, we love you too. Miss you. Olympia is like a, a cleansing. It's the best way I know how to describe it. I don't know if folks on the live stream can describe it better than that. Cleansing of bad energy. Hey, Ginger. We, I'm happy to be doing the live streams again too. I missed it. I miss doing this stuff. Limpia the White House, Gabriela. I like that too. So again, if you guys are anywhere near, come out. Arapaho Pass, that's where we're at. You know what? This reminds me a lot look at of... That. Look at that cone. Is that a cone? It's huge. Yeah, that is a cone. Oh, wow. I'm very distractible today, but it's because that is so, look at that like huge cone, right? Yeah, that's a big cone. <laughs> it's a big cone. This reminds me a lot of the first block walk we did this time last week, last Monday. Um, uh, we were in a neighborhood in Houston, still in Fort Bend County, and we literally had one person home. That's right. Yep. Oh, it'd be this house right here. Okay. This is going to be it, Beto. I Catherine feel it. and Kelsey. That's where we're at. Come on and open. I hear the dogs. Tyler, don't leave us. Even if you have to work, leave the live stream on. Just turn it on silent. We gotta hang around until we get somebody to open a door. Don't go until they open a door. All right, here we go. Onward. That's right. Yes. We have no other choice. This, this is the only way to do it. And again, our ratio is not going to be great on a Monday morning. Folks are at work, they're at school, they just don't want to answer their doors. Um, but we're going to leave a note, and on that note we'll say that we were there. But the note will actually include where people can vote, their, their closest polling locations, a reminder that the election is tomorrow. And it's not going to hurt to, right. to do this. Hey, Beto, two things. One, yeah. Carol McDaniel is on and says hi. Hey, Carol. How you doing? And number two, somebody's asking if you have any stats on early voting so far. we got to go up to Carol's part of the world before I know. long. I would love to do that again. Me too. Um, early voting was awesome. Even though we only had four days and five polling locations versus 14 days and 23 polling locations in November, we outpaced November's early voting turnout. So um, it's a really good sign. But we got to keep it up. Got to keep it going. All right, Bob said he's going to come and join us at noon. Thank you, Bob. Open, open, open. You don't remember that commercial? <laughs> Mallory, my camp, my daughter canvassed for Beto and Collin County. We need everybody to sign up. And so, Yo. we, oh, uh, yes, yes, okay. go, 
feeling good about this street, but I, I don't know. Are you really? Yeah, I do. I feel good. I think it, it'll work. One of them will open. It's warming up. It is warming See up. See some sun on you. Out. It's really nice. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be, she wasn't home. Steven, I appreciate you saying that and so grateful to be a part of one nine. Team Let's Betcha. One map. eight. Just yeah. To... Where's the map? There. There. There we go. Boom. There we go. That helps. 303. There's two, next... three. Is it 23 or what? Yeah. 303, 193, so it would be further down that way. 311. Would love for you guys to sign up, powered by people. This is a way that we are going to stay engaged with a lot of the campaigns and make sure that we are doing all we can to help folks. Let me show you that graphic right there. Powered by people. Please join us, sign up. Any donations you can make is helpful to make sure that we're able to do this work. And... Hi, it's Beto O'Rourke. Oh. Beto O'Rourke. So sometimes on the walk list that we have, there might be only one person that's a voter in the house that is able to vote. So we're specifically looking for that person. I think that might've been what happened here at the store. Yeah. Yeah. 303. Yeah. 303. Right. You ever have that kind of day? Yeah. But no one's home. <laughs> but you know what? The people who are home won't open the door. It's okay. It is okay. Well, we have that's a, the kind of day we're having. But it's okay. It's okay. Okay. You take the good with the bad. Right. You take them both, and there you have the facts of life. <laughs> That's right. Facts of life. Yeah, you got to keep trying. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. Um, Y'all have had days like this, right? Where almost every door you knock on does not answer. But if you stop, then we won't get to that door that will answer. Christy, when was I super nervous for working for Beto? Oh, that's easy. I have a story to tell you guys, and Beto has told this story before. So I've been working for Beto going on eight years. Oh. They opened. Looking good. Alright. That's right, Ginger is an open door. Handshake. All right. That's great, wonderful. Beto, I saw a handshake. Does that work? Is that good? We got a door oh. open. That's all I Persistence. That's all Persistence. I need. Yeah. That's now I'm good. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm back on go track. Go between you guys. There oh, we go. Okay. There we go. So I'm telling my story, Beto. They're asking me when was I most nervous to work for you. Uh huh. So I think the light. 19302. So I'm going to continue with my story. So this was probably the first week that I was working for Beto and maybe the first couple weeks and I was his district director in El Paso when he was a sitting congressman and we were going to one of the local papers 
they were going to interview him, but we didn't know they were going to interview him, that we were just going to visit. And when we went in, they sat him down and in the room of probably six staff, the CEO, publisher, everybody was there. And my phone, I had downloaded this app. <clears throat> it was like a flashlight. Um, app that made this crazy noise when it went off and in the middle of the interview when it started to get really heated and they were asking them all sorts of questions really serious questions somehow my phone that was in my purse not in my hand started going off and the light started flashing this very loud laser noise started going off and Beto just turned around and gave me this look not happy so I turned it off and it <laughs> I, I think there's, there's a, a lawnmower here so oh. it'll be hard to hear okay so um, we'll, we'll go knock on this door but if you want to you're welcome to go okay yeah I'll do yeah. that and then not only did it happen once twice but three times continuously in the interview he was so mad at me. He literally stopped talking to me for probably three days. And at that point, I thought he's going to fire me. I think he wanted to fire me. But somehow, we made it through. And yeah, it was horrible, Tara. I wanted to throw my phone outside the window so bad. But it just kept going off. And I had no control over it. It was horrible. And then what happened to me is I think I was traumatized. So after that... When I was around Beto, I just started dropping things. I would drop my phone, I would drop my water. It took me a very long time to overcome that. But now here we are, seven years later, um, and we're still at it. So, sorry for the noise. Somebody's mowing their lawn. For those of you that are near, we are Arapahoe Pass and Christine Crossing. So if you guys are in the neighborhood, come on out and join us. Here we go. There's Liz working her magic. Right. Well, my battery is low, so I am going to sign off and I will make sure to check back in with you guys in a little bit and we'll get an update for you on how the rest of our shift went. Thank you all. Bye.